get this before it's too late. You can now play all your favorite Nintendo games on your iPhone completely free. Thanks to Apple's new update that allows emulators in the iOS app store. That's right, on your Mac, iPad, and even iPhone, you can now download the Delta app in the app store. Load up any ROM and you can play any game you want. The app runs super smooth compared to other emulators available. And you can even play this with your friends. It's that easy. No more jailbreak iPhones. Third party launchers. Just get the app and that's it. The app has become an overnight sensation. It's currently number one in entertainment with over half a million downloads already. Overall, just a great option for Nintendo emulation on the iOS, especially because it's Apple approved so your data is protected. Get it while you can before Nintendo shuts it all down because we know eventually they will try. A lot of people are even theorizing they're in the works to sue the company behind this app, Test Tech, like they've even done in the past with Yuzu. Nintendo's cracking down on emulators and free roams because of course they don't want people playing their retro games for free. No, they consider it piracy and want everyone to pay for their $80 ports or their online service to play these games on the Switch. Not on their iPhones or PCs for free, so I wouldn't doubt they will come after the Delta app eventually. I mean, it's currently the biggest topic in the gaming space right now. It will reach them eventually, but it's because it's that big. This is an Apple approved emulator. We never get those. And for free, which is crazy. It also comes with Bluetooth support, multiplayer, and more. And I bet more will come pretty soon for a variety of other platforms like the PS1 and 2 and Xbox. Nintendo's just more mainstream when it comes to retro games and emulation. It pretty much goes hand in hand. So we're gonna have to get started with this. I bet Sony and Microsoft won't be as strict though. Nintendo just hates when fans use their old IPs like this because they want to squeeze every penny out of us. They don't care. And Yuzu was a prime example of this. That was their first big step into ending the emulation world. That's why I say get this while you can guys because who knows if it'll be there say a year from now. Personally, I would prefer to play retro games on my phone because it gives me something to do on the go. Others were far too complicated. Couldn't stand doing all these extra steps just to get it installed. And this one just runs so smooth. It's crazy. It hasn't crashed once. It has a stable frame rate. It just blows so many people's minds, especially those on older iPhone devices. The app does require the newest version of iOS 14 or later though. 68 megabytes of space free and on Mac, Mac OS 11 and an M1 chipset. Still it runs Nintendo 64, Game Boy Color, Advanced, Nintendo DS and SNES games so smooth. It also even works with some of Nintendo's input methods like gyroscope and WarioWare and the microphone controls in the DS game Phoenix, right? The app can also auto grab the box art for some games. You can customize the controller in the UI and multiplayer like I said before but with airplay streaming it's just nuts. Mario 64 multiplayer is gonna go hard with my friends pretty soon. <laughs> a lot of people keep calling this emulator a ripoff to IGPA because in the past IGPA was the first emulator to pop up in the iOS app store but Apple took it down due to spam and copyright saying it violated a variety of app store rules which it did I mean it was pretty much a copy of someone else's work. Delta has been around for a while now since 2019 it's just you have to jailbreak your iPhone to get it. It's the reason why once Apple approve emulation on the iOS app store, the app has been running so well. Since it got a five year head start in development, pretty much all the bugs have been patched already and a bunch of new features have been added to improve this experience. But the dev for IGPA, Maria La Spina, ripped off Tetuit's IGPA for iOS's code and an NES emulator called Bimmy, which is kind of messed up, but hey, at least they apologized for it and contacted the original creator saying sorry. And now the king has returned to take their place as the king of emulation on mobile devices considering originally it was the work to begin with. So people need to look into this because calling Delta a ripoff is ironic. IGPA was the bootleg Delta and it already had a bad rep with people claiming the app was stealing data to make ad revenue or worse. So I'm glad it's gone and now we got the main course and everything's working just fine. And the fact you can play these games with the Apple Vision Pro is awesome. If I get my hands on the Apple Vision Pro, I'm about to play Pokemon while washing the dishes, man. <laughs> Apple has been known to have tight restrictions over its app store compared to Android. It's been like that since we were all kids. But now I think the tides are shifting because the control is tiling down just a bit, giving users more freedom and making iOS users more happy. I just feel bad for people in Europe because they're not allowed to download this app. Since the new laws that went into effect against Apple, the EU's Digital Market Acts, restricting a variety of iOS apps in Europe, over one third of the app store is restricted. Still, people are accessing this with all stores, so it really doesn't matter. And they're also changing their region to be able to download it, then switching it back it works just fine, but still, something might happen to us too. Since the US Department of Justice have filed the case against Apple for violating antitrust laws by essentially building a monopoly, that's gonna be interesting to see what happens in the future. We might even get the store restricted to us too. But for now, let's just enjoy some of these nice retro games on the Delta app before the US bans it, or most importantly, Nintendo does. Anyways, just want to speak on this. Let me hear your thoughts below. Are you gonna be
be trying this thing out. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out. Stable.